Hey guys, Ellie and Megan here. As you can see, we have brought Nikki Bella with us and we are currently just waiting in the parking lot for our vet appointment. For those of you that didn't see my video from a few days ago, we have quite the situation going on with sweet little Nikki. She got spayed, allegedly, like six months ago. She even has the scar and the incision from it, so they definitely opened her up and sewed her back up, to say the least. But somehow, some way, she's still pregnant. <laughs> I don't know if we can get a good angle of that belly right now, but wanna, oh, belly's oh, humongous. Belly is huge. She got the little, okay. the little teeth showing, and so we've brought her to the vet to see what's going on to see how this happened and what we need to do going forward if anything all right guys so here we are at the vet they just took her temperature and her weight and, and all those things were perfectly normal for a pregnant cat i guess you could say nikki actually isn't doing too too bad she was kind of scared when we came in but she's kind of just exploring and trying to learn her surroundings now this has actually been a really neat experience there's been a lot of things that just happened so quickly that we weren't able to capture on camera, but I really wish that we did. I can think of three examples off the top of my head. The first is that last night we took Nikki from the farm to stay the night at our apartment because the vet appointment right now is a lot closer to our apartment. So it was easier to just have her stay one night with us in Finnegan. And it was the neatest thing guys in the car in the car she was like really really scared she was panting she was stressed at first but then i started playing some like classical soothing cat music on my phone and it didn't it, it calmed her down pretty dang well wouldn't you say so and you remember that and you oh, didn't think it was gonna work line. yeah when i played the soothing cat yeah, music i didn't think it was gonna work and i got delightfully really surprised was, that's one, that's one way to put it, delightfully surprised. Yeah, but no, it was amazing how the music just calmed her right down. A few of you have suggested in the past that we play music for the various animals, and so now I know that there is a lot of power in good music. Um, the second thing that happened, which was crazy, this is probably the craziest part of it all, yeah. is that when... Nikki, it's okay. She's talking. Yeah, Nikki's a talker. She's always been a talker. She's been a bird chirper. That's what we call her. But um, with Finnegan, when she met Finnegan, they actually did really, really well together. They were a little bit skeptical, kind of on edge, but they weren't like aggressive. They weren't aggressive. They weren't being mean to each other. They were just kind of cautious around each other. Nothing triggered her except for one thing. Megan picked up Finnegan to love on him like she does every single day and for whatever reason that sent Nikki into a feral frenzy a tirade a fury so Nikki scratched Megan on her leg yeah, like and lit here. yeah literally went for an attack on Finnegan like, hold on. I put Finnegan on like because Finnegan has access to everything everybody knows that so I put him on our dining room like stool chair and she tried to get up there and hit him and swat at him as he's trying to run away. Yeah, and Finnegan wasn't even trying to fight. Of course, that Finnegan really... is now traumatized. He's okay now. He, he's okay. He, he's... he was really upset last night, though, he about that. He was really angry. For whatever reason, Megan picking Finnegan up and loving him, that was just no bueno for her. No problem, anything else. And she started guarding parts of the house, too, which... You would think she would come in and it would be like a new place. A new place. This is there's already a cat here. This is his house. She was getting in his toys. She she was on the bathroom counter this morning while you were asleep. Uh, <laughs> she was on the bathroom counter where Finn lays. I can like she owns the place. First night here. Yeah, he was not yeah. having it. He was yeah. not happy. Yeah. Well, if anything, Nikki did make herself right at home. There's no question about that. And then this morning when we woke up and we tried to get her in the crate, Megan opened it and she was like trying to wake me up and like we could get ready to somehow just like get her in there, like how hard it was supposed to be. But then Nikki walks right in, literally unprovoked. She just walks in like, oh, what's this? And then Finn's mood instantly changed. She like got lit he up. Really, he was really happy to see her in the crate. It yeah. So been a lot of things that I should have got on camera, but. Yeah. Moral of the story is we did not get a lot of sleep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm trying to do better about that, capturing these moments, because, man, it was been, it was an eventful night, you guys, to say the least. But let's go ahead and wait for these vets to come in, take the x-rays, I think, and then 
We'll get back to y'all. Oh my goodness. So the vets say that those are little spines right there, which means we do have babies. I've never seen an ultrasound before. This is unbelievable. Oh, oh, she she oh my I'm goodness. Done. You're <laughs> done, done Nikki. You done with that? Yeah. What are you thinking, Bubs? I see your face is in very deep thought. Well, I I thought I thought she was pregnant. I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready for that. You're not ready to see little spines on the ultrasound? No, because I thought that there was like I you know, I looked up all kinds of things like tumors and stuff and I was just like, this isn't possible, like the vet came in and the vet said, let's put an ultrasound to check for abdominal fluid. Fluid, yeah. And I was like, okay, this is bad. If it's fluid, this is not good for her. Like... Nope, just little babies. And so right now we're currently awaiting a few x-rays to make sure that she has all of her other parts in there so that she can have a safe delivery. And if she's missing anything or if something's wrong, then she's gonna need a C-section. But she's not spayed, that's for sure, because she's pregnant. There's little babies moving around in there, and multiple of them. This is literally like, I have never, ever seen anything like this. And, like, no, like, shame to the people that did this. Like, obviously, accidents happen, and not everybody's perfect. Um, things happen. Obviously, it's unfortunate, but it's okay because the babies will be able to go somewhere. Um, yeah. And... We're just hoping that maybe she was just opened up and then just closed up. I hope. A lot of people commented that she may have had like double ovaries, ovaries. double uterus, something like that. So I wonder if you'd be able to see that. Yeah, I'm just hoping the x-rays that they're going to take will be able to tell us the information that we want to know. And the vet did say, based on how developed the babies looked on the ultrasound that she could be close and tell them what you saw this morning what, oh <laughs> i go into my closet to get dressed right and our closet is a hot mess right now so i have some clothes hanging that are touching the floor because i just need them out of the way good girl and um yeah i go in there and i hear like her claws and i'm like what is she doing she's in those like thing of clothes that are hanging like what did she say nesting yeah She's nesting and you know what i've noticed that like this is gonna okay. sheesh nikki just banged the babies against the wall she don't care i have noticed like that maybe it's gross but i think because of like goats like i'm not phased by it if you watch her hind end you can kind of like tell when like things are changing it doesn't look really normal looks kind of protruded she's been laying on her side a lot um hey, let's wait and see what the x-rays say all right guys this right here is amazing y'all check this out so they gave us Nikki Bella's x-rays. The vets that we went to were really amazing. I need to start off with that. They took such good care of her, were so gentle, were observant, they weren't manipulative as far as how much we had to pay and all of that. And so they even emailed me the x-rays just out of kindness because I asked. Have a look right here. So as you can see on the left side right there, I think that's a skull. That would be a skull of one of the kittens. And you can kind of see on the right side, you see like two more little outlines of a kitten body. I see the little dots. I think that's what they meant by the spines. I'm not super sure. I've never looked at an x-ray before like this. But man, I had, this was the best angle I could find. I'm not a vet, so I don't even hardly know what I'm looking at, honestly. But this is amazing. They, the vets told me that they see four kittens in there. So they expect Nikki to have four kitties inside of her. That is unbelievable, guys. That's a lot, that's a lot of kitties that come out of her little tiny body. Just so, <laughs> not a whole lot of words, kind of speechless, but we will definitely keep y'all updated with what's going on with her. What an amazing blessing and what an exciting moment for real. Oh yeah, the last thing that I forgot to mention was that when they looked at her, none of her internal organs or whatever were missing. She had her cervix intact, she had her ovaries, her uterus, 
all the things you could possibly need to create a baby, she still had inside of there. So their conclusion was that all those months ago when she got allegedly spayed, she really just got sewed or she got cut open. Nothing was taken out and they sewed her right back up. I suppose that would explain why she was licking that long incision for so long all those months ago. Because even you guys in the comments noted that it was a lot longer of a, of a cut than what you typically see from a cat that gets spayed. So, I don't know. But I kind of think I see maybe a baby or two at the very bottom of this angle. But again, not nearly e easily as identifiable as the first angle. I don't know though. Moving on. What in the world is she doing? I don't know about you, but is that normal cat behavior, Bones? It was normal crazy cat behavior. <laughs> that, because Nikki is in fact pregnant. What kind of, what is she doing? She's biting on the shirt and she's... She's nesting. Nesting. So that means we have to make her a birthing place. If this cat pops out kittens while you're gone at night, that'll be like the story of a lifetime. She won't, but her milk's not even in yet. Yeah. What the heck? 